Google Ads has been going crazy with update after update, which is directly impacting us Shopify store owners, which is directly impacting us Google Ads advertisers as well. I mean, just recently, I made a whole video about some of the most insane updates, which Google just released. I think I made the video about four days ago. And within the last two days, there's yet another update. This time, this update is a little bit more important simply because it does have a time limit to it. And if you don't end up doing what this update wants you to do, you put your account at getting fully suspended from Google ads, which is why you should watch this video until the end. But to kind of recap just a little bit to cover what I was saying earlier in this video, Google ads recently hosted something called the Google live keynote of 2022, which was an event that basically a lot of smart people went to and where Google addressed a lot of new updates it would be doing to the platform which would quote make the advertisers life much easier it would make it much more convenient for a user to basically shop on google as well but if i could summarize that entire event into a few words i would simply summarize that by saying that google is basically taking away a lot of the control we have over our campaigns because of the new updates that they have been implementing and this update is no different at all so exactly what am i talking about in this video so if we go ahead and go on over to a google ads account i have open which is actually for my google ads agency yoru marketing and we look at this little yellow highlighted text right over here it says start advertiser verification to keep running ads start advertiser verification by 22 7 2 which means july 2nd of 2022 and if you don't have this done by that time period you will end up getting suspended now to go a little bit more in depth into exactly what that means i'm gonna open up the email which they actually sent to me so what it says right here again start advertiser verification by july 2nd 2022 to keep running ads now this is where it's in bold letters that if you don't follow this rule right here this new update your ads will stop performing and they will stop spending the budget period so this is kind of google's way to tell you very nicely to just hurry up and basically do the verification process and complete it fully if you want to continue to use the advertising platform and we're going to go over exactly how this impacts us shopify store owners and what the main benefits are of this and how to go forward from here but let's take it step by step now there's various reasons as to why i personally believe google even came up with this update and one of the main reasons is Google just wants its users to feel much more secure. And this was unfortunately not happening too often thanks to a lot of scammy dropshippers just running Google ads, copying each other. And I know this because about 50 to 100 different stores copied my own e-commerce store and started running ads. Of course, not really providing the product, just basically on there to scam these people. And unfortunately, because of the big amount of people that were starting to use Google ads, especially those that were basically transitioning from Facebook due to of course the low results and all of that stuff Google had a bit of trouble kind of making its system smart enough so that it could kind of stop these advertisers at least the fake ones or the spammy ones from coming onto their platform and from stealing the market share from other real advertisers and it's pretty obvious as to what that would lead into some things that happened were a lot of more people were getting scammed in fact some people that actually work over at Google ended up getting scammed by these spammy dropshipping websites by these fake dropshipping websites and that kind of led to one thing after the other which i'm talking about the update which is the main reason why we're seeing so many updates as of recently but another reason as to why i personally believe google kind of came up with an update like this that you must verify with certain information and if you're wondering what information i'll be covering that very shortly but the main reason why i think they came up with something like this is just to make the entire platform a bit safer and to kind of take the user's privacy in mind because as we all know with Facebook ads one of the main reasons why they were under the radar for so long was because they were kind of sacrificing the users privacy while trying to make the advertising platform better for its advertisers and Google at some point was very very similar to Facebook but after seeing what Facebook went through Google basically decided to change up gears a bit and now impose this kind of verification 
on its advertisers as well to kind of make it equal in terms of all of the information that is available for the advertising platform itself. So now Google already knows a lot of information about the users that shop on Google, that use Google to search, etc. The same thing is true for those people running the ads. And this is going to kind of boost that up just a little bit because now we will be required to submit certain information which Google is going to use to keep its platform safe. But overall, this is a very, very good step forward by Google in my opinion because now talking about the specific benefits, it's going to build a lot of trust in a normal consumer's mind when they come to shop with you. So for example, if we go back to this email right over here and look at what this image says right over here and also read this text, it says, after verification, your ads will feature a disclosure listing the advertiser's name and location, usually just their country, building people's trust in the ad content they see. So in shorter words, if we can use an image to illustrate this, this is exactly what it would look like. So on the ad directly, there would be a little disclosure, which if somebody clicks on, it will tell them exactly what the name of the people operating this business is or the business name itself, as well as the actual location of the business. Now, it won't really say the direct street address and all of that stuff, but it will say the location, meaning the country. And this will kind of make it easy for the consumer to trust you a bit more because even though they don't have the exact details, they now know your business name. So they actually know that you are a verified business and not just some random Joe working from their parents' garage trying to sell fake product. But in addition to that, it's now going to start preventing a lot of the fraud that is going out out there, especially the fraud with companies that are actually successful. So for instance, let's say you are doing $50,000 a month, $100,000 a month, or even more than that, and you are starting to see that because you're pumping out so much volume, you're actually starting to kind of attract other e-commerce brands, other competitors who are now trying to copy you, who are now trying to sell the same things in you. And by the way, if other people are trying to copy you, that means you're doing something right. But now with this kind of setup, there's only so much that they can do in terms of copying because now they cannot be you directly. I have seen this happen before where a lot of e-commerce brands out there actually end up copying the entire website including all the products but also the store name itself in the hopes of getting a little bit of traffic from the original store to this new store and they might just change the domain so if it was originally com they might make it net or co etc this is a very bad business practice but it does happen often so now this little update is gonna make sure this basically gets prevented fully because now you need to go through this verification process you need to prove that you are the actual business and you need to provide certain information which then Google can use to make sure you are the actual real business and not just some random person trying to copy somebody else's business. So this is going to prevent a lot of fraud. And that is something I really like simply because my own e-commerce brands have gone through this many, many times. But in addition to that, now this is going to help you actually increase the overall brand awareness for your brand. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Because now what is going to happen is your customers will directly know your business name, your location, etc. So because you are now an established business, people will kind of associate your ads with your business itself. And if you think of this at a very broad level, you will start to see that that is a very beneficial thing for you because now you're establishing your own brand's identity within the marketplace. You are letting people know exactly who you are and what your business does because all of the products that you sell, when a consumer shops for your product, especially if you're selling within the same niche, it's just gonna make the whole process easier when it comes to brand awareness. So this update is really gonna be helping with that. But one key thing I would like to say about this update one more time is that you need to make sure that you are getting through this update as soon as possible, basically before July 2nd. Otherwise, you might end up getting your account fully suspended. But now that we went over that, let's dive a little bit deeper into exactly how you can go about and find this within your Google Ads dashboard so you can actually go ahead and do this. Of course, if you see this yellow message right at the top, you can just click on get started. But if you don't see it for whatever reason, what you want to do is you want to click on tools and settings. And from tools and settings, you want to go to the settings section right over here, because here is where we can go ahead and look at whatever is coming up in terms of that message. On the settings page, right on the first page that you land on, you should see this at the very top, which is advertiser verification. And it says to give users everywhere more transparency, choice and control, 
we're verifying every advertiser using Google ads. So this is exactly where you will find it. And it does go over all of the benefits which I was talking about, which is building trust so that you are a real authentic brand and not just some Joe Schmo selling from their parents garage, limiting fraud. Again, like I mentioned, this is going to make it easy for nobody to just come in and misrepresent your brand or basically act as you. And third thing, empower your audience. So what that essentially means is just, it's going to increase brand awareness overall and your customers will know exactly who they're shopping from, what the brand is, etc. So it will tell you right here, your status. And it says to keep running ads, start advertiser verification by July 2nd. 2022 once you hit get started it will ask you the following question the first question is is your organization an advertising agency so right over here is where you would get to choose which one of the following are you so if you're a normal e-commerce brand you would obviously choose no but if you are an agency like me you would go ahead and choose yes right over here but right over here and we're gonna click no just because we're gonna pretend that i'm an actual advertiser and what we will do is we will look at the second question which is who pays for your ad so again you would need to go ahead and choose the correct option right over here. So you can say you pay the ads directly. If it is you, if it's an agency or if you're working with me, you might want to choose the second option. But for my agency, we don't actually pay for the ads. You as the user would need to pay for the ads. And if you're doing $30,000 or more in sales and you want to take your e-commerce brand to the next level with Google ads, go on to my agency website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can personally work together to scale your e-commerce brand to the next level. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to choose the first circle. The third question is, do you advertise your own product services or someone else's? Now, of course, this is where things get a bit interesting. You want to go ahead and choose the first circle because even if you're drop shipping or whatever you might be doing, these products are still technically your products because if you look at some of the examples where it says we advertise others products and services it says online marketplaces dealerships and franchises insurance travel and real estate agents and affiliate marketers obviously you're not any of these so you would need to choose the first circle and once you scroll down it will ask you for the industry so you want to keep it very broad if you're a general store you would of course want to choose a variation in terms of the different choices so for example if you are a general store selling auto parts you might choose that one then you might also choose some other things like for example if you want to keep things very broad you might want to go under shopping and you can go a little bit deeper so apparel if you sell apparel toys etc just try to be as specific as possible but if you do a lot of things then you might just want to choose shopping as a whole but that might not be ideal because within shopping there's a lot of other things like entertainment media and i'm sure you don't really sell entertainment media but you want to choose whatever specific category you sell within and then just hit save and continue for the sake of this example i'm not going to click save and continue but that is pretty much it to the overall verification process these are the majority of the questions Google will be asking you and you want to make sure you are providing real answers, not just providing any random answer, because then that could lead to issues down the line. But exactly how do all of these things impact you as a Google ads advertiser running an e-commerce brand? And is there anything that you should be worried about or do differently? First things first, it's much more important now than ever before that you make sure you're providing all of the necessary information that Google needs and that all of the information you provide is actually real and verifiable. Meaning you don't want to include just any random fake addresses, PO box addresses, all of that stuff, whatever information you do provide, you want to make sure it is the same information that you provided on your Shopify end as well. Because again, if these two things are different from each other, and of course, if the Google Merchant Center information is also different, what's going to happen is there, you're going to get suspended for something called misrepresentation because now you're not really representing yourself the right way. You're just providing a bunch of random information, which again, counts as misrepresentation. So make sure that you are providing accurate information and it matches everywhere. But don't worry because all of these things are actually making your life easy because now it is basically getting rid of anybody who was not using Google ads to provide good service to their customers and actually shipping out the product. So this is going to basically lower your CPCs because a lot of the competition who cannot actually do this will end up getting wiped out. And obviously they might not be able to do this because they know that they're a fraud. And if they provide real information, they might end up getting caught. So this is actually a good thing for those people that are building real businesses, which is why you really want to focus on building a strong real business in 2022 and onwards, especially with Google, if you weren't really focused on that before. But this brings me to the next point, which is this is going to actually increase your conversion rates. Now, 
What do we mean by this exactly? Google has not really made this clear, but what I personally believe is once you verify your account, Google might end up actually pushing your products and your campaigns a bit further down the line compared to somebody who's not yet verified. And the reason behind that simply is you are providing Google's users a better experience. You are a real verifiable brand rather than somebody who has not verified anything. And they're just here for the short haul, which is why, again, your CPCs might actually end up going down and you might end up winning a lot of extra sales. And these little things that people know about your brand, like the business name, location, etc., even if it's not specific, is going to help them feel connected to your real brand. And again, that is going to definitely help with the conversion rates. But that is pretty much it for this verification update. You definitely want to be doing it before July 2nd. Again, if you're doing $30,000 or more in sales per month, you want some help taking your e-commerce brand to the next level, go on to my website at yourromarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how I can personally help you scale your e-commerce brand. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.